all you space engineers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and it is day 16 here on Planet 26. Well, in the last episode, we actually got our printer in place to produce our drones, and uh, we've got the interior and everything done on the uh, drone hangar bay uh, the drone factory so what I have to do today is I need to at least get one of the docking bays finished and I need to move this out three more rows uh, to uh, so I can move this out because I've decided that this is just a little too close. So three more rows would put this out. One, two. So I would put the docking bay right about there someplace. So that's the first thing I want to do is to get uh, get the rows added, uh, get uh, at least this first docking bay finished uh, and then I have to uh, I need to set up a resource node over there on the cobalt it's going to be the closest and so it's going to be the the one that I want to start with as far as setting up the resources I also need to get the conveyor system finished from the uh, docking bay and so I'll do that at least from this first one and then as we get ready to bring more drones online then I'll finish doing the other uh, docking bays so uh, I think with that I'll uh, get started with, with uh, getting that stuff done and once I get uh, uh, that first bot docking bay done uh, I'll catch back up with you all All right, well, as you can see, I'm just kind of getting some progress going here. Uh, one of the things I needed to do was mark out where the hazard area was. You don't want to step in front of these welders when they're welding. And so I'm getting uh, this section marked as hazard. And I have got this portion of the docking bay done this is this is all I'm going to work on or this is all I'm going to get done I needed just to get one uh, one connector in one landing port so that uh, the drone will have a place to go and I also extended this out I still have to finish the pipeline over to the cargo bay over there uh, but yeah just wanted to kind of give you a bit of an update so uh, I'm progressing along and let's see so my next step is I do need to put in a resource node over there at the cobalt uh, field because uh, that's going to be the first one that uh, I use to set up my first drone. So I think with that, uh, I will go ahead and do that next. I'll grab the uh, planet rover and head over there. And uh, once I get over there, I'll uh, give you another update. All right, I am just about here into the cobalt field. So why don't we pull up and park well, about right about here, I think. Let's uh, stop this thing and uh, let's uh, park it. Uh, let's hop out of here. We appear to be on a little bit of a slope here. Uh, Oh, we are. That's a little bit of a hill. Uh, let's uh, kind of see. Now, our base is 
back that away. Let's pull out the drill here and let's see how deep. I'd like to find something that is probably What's that? Oh. Transport. Okay. Oh. And there's that uh, commander. So, yeah, you just stay off over there. Alright, let's see what we can find here. Kind of like to find something that's just under 30. Otherwise, I might have to dig it out a little bit. Uh, 34. Thirty-three. Uh, thirty-two. It looks like about as close as I'm going to get to it. All right, I tell you what. Uh, we're going to just kind of. Uh, dig down a little bit so that we can kind of get this closer. Uh, once I get that done, I'll uh, catch back up with you here in just a little bit. Alright, well, I got this dug down a little bit, so I was down below 30 meters, so it should uh, pick up the cobalt, and what I am going to do right now is get power to it, uh, so I'm in the process of putting up my wind turbines. So I'm uh, getting the scaffolding put up. Uh, so let's get a little bit of this done uh, up through here. Uh, this is how I go about building my scaffolding uh, for these uh, wind turbines. So I just keep adding a row of blocks and I come back, I like to put my wind turbines at, oh, I missed a spot. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's put that in there. And just double check, yep, all right. So I usually come back about 10 or 11 rows, which that usually gets me up to the height that I want of building these wind turbines. So let's just keep kind of doing this. Keep, keep. And then ramp. Uh, and then we'll get another one here. Oop. Shoot. That one needs to be a ramp. There we go. And we'll just keep adding these up. All right. Well, you kind of get the idea on that. Uh, once I uh, get the wind turbines up, uh, I'll uh, check back in with you all. All right. Well, I got the wind turbines going. Let's go see if this is going to... We'll turn it on. That it should be enough power for this, uh, and uh, let's make sure we're getting cobalt. Uh, control panel. Get ready. And it's pulling up cobalt. All right. I tell you what. I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off, so we don't have to listen to that. But, that's exactly what we wanted. Uh, how much uh, power is that pulling down? Uh, the wind turbines are producing...
yeah, they're producing, uh, they're, they're kind of set where they're at. This needs 648, so that should give us an excess of power. I think one of the things I need to do, though, is put batteries on these as well, so that uh, it'll have some stored power just in case when we start running the drones out here. So I've got to build, what i got to build out now is the cargo bay and set that all up. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to tear that scaffolding down and then once I start uh, getting the uh, cargo bay somewhat done, uh, I'll catch back up with you here in just a little bit. Well, I think I have everything in place. Uh, we have the connector on top, which is what I'm going to have to do with the others. I was thinking when I built the others, I put them on the side, so I'll have to move that connector to the top. Uh, but this should, when the drone comes in, it'll land on top of that connector. It'll fill up with uh, the ore, and then once the ore is loaded on, then it'll take off and head back to base. So let's go ahead and turn this uh, uh, drill on. And we should be starting to get cobalt into the container here. Yep, it's starting to push it through. So it'll start filling that up. And yeah. So we can head back. I'm not going to get too fancy with this one. I'll end up eventually uh, building this out more, uh, making it look a little more uh, like an outpost uh, once I get it set. But right now I'm just trying to conserve my resources as much as I can, uh, especially my nickel, until I can get uh, my drones bringing nickel in. So let's uh, head back over to the base. Now that we have this set up, and I think we have uh, have everything done over at the base, I think. Let's get this thing rolling. Let's back up a little bit here. I should have marked that, but we will. I know where it's at. We've got enough enough uh, markers over here already. I'll have to clean some of these up. I should turn some of them off, actually. So, when I get back over to base, uh, I will uh, catch back up with you. Alright, I am uh, back here at base, and I think it's time for the moment of truth. Uh, I have everything set up, for the most part. Uh, I've tried to make sure I've got enough parts, so it's time to set up our printer. So what we do, the way I do it, is uh, in my first hot bar, number one hot bar, I set up my pistons. So I have a reverse and a decrease in uh, the minimal pipe. So if we go into here, you'll see that I've got this piston set up to reverse. Uh, and then this one is set up to decrease the minimal distance. Now let me check something here. Let me make sure I set... If we go into the piston... Go into here... That minimum distance needs to be set to 10. Because what you're going to do is, once you reverse it, and then you start hitting that, it's going to slowly pull the welders back in. Now the next thing I do is if we go to 
here I need to set up my projector. So if we go into G and we grab our projector, where you are at projector, there you are. Uh, what I do is I set up my, <clears throat> on, on this pot bar, I do my horizontal, my vertical, and my forward. So uh, I want to, that's uh, increase. And then we want to decrease. And then we want to go down to our vertical and we want to increase. And then on our vertical, we want to decrease. And then we want to our forward increase and our forward decrease. So that's on this hot bar. So now if we go to three, uh, we're gonna do that with the next set. So we're gonna increase pitch and decrease pitch. Increase yaw and decrease yaw. And then finally, increase roll and decrease roll. So what that does is it gives us the ability to sit here and look at our projection and be able to adjust it accordingly. So now what we need to do is we need to go into our projector get to our projector and we want to bring up the blueprints and I have my drone blueprint I'll get down to it make sure I get the right one uh, that's the small one uh, I think that's the small one I should have another one here I believe Uh, it's down here. I think. Oh, let me see. It should be... Should be... Should be that one right there uh, that's got the two cargo bays on it yep, pretty sure that's it so let's uh, copy to the clipboard and that's got that fired up so now we have to adjust that to the way we, we need it. And so uh, that's one of the nice things. You can sit here and s look at your projection. And then so we're going to start with, uh, uh, I'm on my control panel three. So let's flip that uh, one more. That's got that flipped around. Uh, and that was uh, my uh, pitch, I believe, if I remember correctly. Now, so we've got that set correctly. Let's uh, go to two and uh, I believe the first one is move forward. No, that's move that back. Uh, move forward. Uh, well, we're going to have to go down, but there we go. Move forward. And that should be it. Now let's go back to Moving down, nope. There we go, and there we go. So I'm gonna hop out of here and th 
this uh, the welder is where it's at. I think it it'll get. What I like to do is weld these first couple of blocks, and you'll notice on all my blueprints they'll have some trailing blocks out. And the I, and the reason for that is uh, there's two ways you can do it. I have it. I build it right into the uh, blueprint, and then I can. Uh, once I get the drone made, then I can just uh, cut those off. Uh, or you can set up your blueprint, and then you can add your blocks on your projector until you get it connected up. Uh, I think it's a little bit easier this way. So let's uh, get the next block. And that should do it. That should have it where it will build that out. So now, if we hop in here and we go back we need to hit reverse number one so now that should have reversed that and uh, oh you know there's one more thing I got to do almost forgot that would have messed things up uh, let's go into our go into here I can't remember if I set them up I did not. So what you need to do is set your welders up into a group. So let's just go down here and grab all three of these welders. And we'll just call them welders. And save. And now <coughs> we can add, go to our groups, we've got welders. And we can drop these down, and we'll just toggle those blocks on off, and they're currently off. So now, if we go and hit three, and we turn our welders on, they are on. Now, let's just start backing up. Ah. Oh, you know what? I th think I forgot to ensure something was being built. Let's see if we can uh, do that from here. Uh, let's go into... Everything's built there. Let's go to their control panel. Let's go to our assembler. And... Let's go to power cells. I probably forgot to build power cells. Where are they at? Come on, I know you're here someplace. Power cells, yep. Let's set those to 50. And set. And let's go back into here. Let's, uh, actually, let's hit the reverse. And hopefully now it has enough materials that it can build. And let's uh, go back in and go to our piston. And let's just set it back up to here. Let's uh, check our production. Uh, we should have enough power cells now. All right. So now let's, uh, with our welders on, let's uh, decrease. Oh, we got to hit reverse. Let's decrease again. Uh, all right, let's turn the welders off. Something's not working here. Let's hop out. Uh, 
It should have, uh... Need steel plates, construction, computers. It should have all of that. That is all connected in. Let's try this again. I need, uh... Let's, uh, go to the control panel. Let's, uh, actually reverse this. And... Let's go to our piston. Set it back. And let's hop out here. Well, that should... Should be building that. I'll tell you what, let me uh, do some figuring out here. I thought I had this all set correctly, but uh, I might not. Uh, so I'll get back with you here in just a little bit. Well, let's give this another go here. I might have figured it out. I might not have had uh, it built out far enough for the welders to start welding. Uh, plus, I did have the wrong blueprint in there, so I uh, changed the blueprint around. So let's turn the welders on and see what happens here. And let's uh, move it back a little bit. Oh, I gotta reverse it. A little more. Well, I'm not sure. It worked fine over in Creative. I did exactly the same thing, actually. Uh, let's turn the welders off. Let's hop out. I honestly don't know. Well, you know what? I we've we've kind of gone. We're almost at 30 minutes here. Uh, we did get some stuff done today. I uh, got the uh, cobalt uh, resource node put in, and uh, uh, you know what? No, I'm, let me sit here and f fiddle with it a little bit more before we before I sign off. I, I need to get this working, so I'll catch back up with you here in just a little bit. Well, let's see. I have really changed things up here. I added more welders to it, and I made for sure that uh, they were getting parts. I also had to cut out the floor so that uh, the pistons would flow along. So I'm just about ready to try and see what will happen. Uh, I've got my welder blocks. I made sure that they were getting parts. I I put uh, pipes into each of them, so they should be getting parts. It looked like one, one was starting to pull parts in. So let's come back over here. Uh, I have, I need to do this first. Get back over to my piston. and change this 
move this distance back to 10. Uh, and let's uh, let's turn the welders on. Well, nothing there, but let's see what happens when I move it back a little bit. Oh, I need to reverse it. Again. Nothing. I, I don't get it. Well, looks like we've got a uh, printer failure today. Uh, I honestly don't know what's happening here. I'll, uh, I'm going to have to figure it out. That should be printing. Those welders are on. Uh, they're right in the middle of it. They're getting parts. If we come over here, we can look at our welder. And if we go to... You can see it's trying to pull parts in. Uh... Like there, it's got the, the parts. So those should be welding. So we're gonna we're gonna call it good here. I'm gonna sit here and, and fiddle with this and try to figure it out, and then uh, hopefully in the next episode we can print out our first drone. Worst case scenario, I'll build it myself, so we at least have a drone working and we can get into that aspect. So I still got to figure out what the, why the printer's not printing. It should be so. All right. Well, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. Uh, it really helps the video out and uh, please subscribe that really helps the channel out a lot all right all you space engineers out there keep building away keep your heads low and don't get shot and with that commander kingfish is out of here and i will see you all in the next video thanks for watching everyone